the mass m grams of a radioactive substance uh, present at time t days after the first being observed uh, is given by the formula of m equals to 24 e to the power negative 0 0.02 t so actually uh, my advice is uh, just ignore the context of the question you just know that uh, variables are m t and basically focus on this formula so as uh, mr chu has said before the lesson we really focus on the formula find the value of m uh, when t is equal to 30 basically what we do is uh, for 4a part 1 okay for 4a part 1 uh, i just substitute t in equals to 30 into the formula so it actually doesn't really matter because regardless of the formula regardless of, i mean regardless of the context there's always a similar formula okay uh, that we need to follow so we just substitute the uh, negative 0 0.02 and we replace the t as 30 and our answer just turns out to be a 13.2 right uh, place to GSF all right so how about part two when the mass uh, find the value of t when the mass is half of its uh, initial value right so of course the initial value what does it mean by the value to all the others say we know that uh, the initial value just means that uh, at the initial value the time has not started so the time is equals to zero so let's find out what is the initial value by substituting time as zero. So when the time is equal to zero, the, the initial mass or the initial value of the mass basically is found right, by substituting uh, the time as zero and t to be zero. And e to the power of zero is just one, so it's basically just uh, 24 uh, grams. Right, That's the initial value. So half of the initial value that will be basically 12 grams so we are trying to find out uh, how the value of t when the mass right is half of the initial value so e uh, we let's let 24 e to the power negative 0 0.02 t the formula to be equals to 20 to 12 so we are finding to find to find out how much time does it take when this formula is equals to 12 so this just comes down to the the, the question of solving for for t Alright, we bring the 24 over, uh, we have uh, 12 over 24, which is equal to half, and this is equal to e to the power negative 0 0.02t. So we, you, you know, if I want to get rid of ln, I use e. If I want to get rid of e, I use ln. So rewriting the equation, a uh, simple technique would just to be ln both sides. Alright, so if I ln half, this is basically ln 0.5. And ln e by the power law is just 1. So uh, ln 0 0.5 divided by negative 0 0.02 that will be equals to t. And t will just be basically equals to uh, 34.7 right, to uh, GSF. Okay. Uh, next, given that uh, x equals to log a is the solution of this equation. I want to find the exact value of a so i look at the question i have a 10 to the power of 2x plus 1 uh, minus 7 10 to the power x equals to 26 so on my own account what i'm going to do is try to solve this equation it's just a, a knowledge of indices so i'm going to try to use uh, i mean uh, to solve this huh? okay so if x equals to, to log a uh, it's a solution right so what we can also say that log a because it's just base 10 that means uh, you know that log basically, is basically log base 10 a is equal to x is a solution it's the same as saying that a equals to 10 power x is also a solution okay also that's a interesting part okay huh? so if i look at a equals to 10 power x and i look carefully at this i realize you know i can easily sub in for example this as a and you know a over here so rewriting my question here, this is like a 10 to the power of x times 2 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. Because you can see it, 2x plus 1 is just like 2x and 1. Okay, by the product law of indices. Minus 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of x equals to 26. And I know that since a equals to 10x is a solution, I can replace this as a I can replace this as a I will have uh, a square multiplied by 10 
minus seven uh, a equals to twenty six. Uh, as usual for quadratic equation, I make the right hand side to be zero, and I have uh, factorized this. I mean, by using the the quadratic, I mean factorization or using your cross method or using a calculator. You have a minus two equals ten plus thirteen. All right, and you have a equals to two, or a equals to negative thirteen over ten. All right, but this of course has to be rejected by virtue of the fact. Remember, that tet log a. Remember, we are looking at a, so a based on this contact, a has to be positive. So this, over here, has to be rejected. Okay.